Federal investigators are starting to unravel the events that led up to a deadly crash on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Five people were killed. Dozens of others were injured. We continue our team coverage this morning. First, Chris Hoffman is live with the first steps in the investigation. Yeah, good morning, Heather. The National Transportation Safety Board is currently here investigating. They got in last night. They will be here for the next seven to ten days to gather evidence, and they say it's going to take much longer, though, to finally come up with what could have caused this deadly crash. Now, some of the people they will have here will be experts that will focus on road design, driver performance, and several other factors. Last night, they met with state police and plan to meet with them again this morning. So far from state police, we know the bus with Z and D tours was going downhill when it couldn't handle the turns in Mount Pleasant Township, Westmoreland County, and then went up an embankment before rolling over and got hit by two semi trucks from behind it before getting hit by another semi truck and passenger vehicle. 11 year old Georgie Coberdice was on the bus and shared with us what happened after the crash. Basically, all the passengers trying to run out, trampling each other. There's a woman that fell front and then there was this guy like climbing over the chairs and, and stepping on her and trying to like get out of the bus thinking it's going to explode. Cobra Cobra Dice was able to get out of there with only minor scrapes and bruises. He was also one of the first people to call 911 after the crash. We are expecting the NTSB to have another press conference this morning or at some point today to have some more details about this deadly situation on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Once we get those details, we will bring those to you on air and online. We're live in New Stanton, Westmoreland County. Chris Hoffman, KDKA Morning News on Pittsburgh CW.